Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. This is an exciting week because we get to open five new RescueBots toys. Now these came out a long time ago, but they're still in their original packaging, which is awesome. Each of these toys goes with a specific RescueBot. So this one over here says it's Sawyer Storm and Rescue Winch. They each have a little gimmick for each of these toys, a fun character, and then they each go with a specific rescue bot, like I said. So this one is with Blazin. It can transform into a weapon for him. Then we have Chief Charlie Burns and Rescue Cutter, which goes with Optimus Prime. You can see on the back, that can be a weapon for Optimus Prime. Who else do we have? Cody Burns and Rescue Hose. On the back, it shows how it can go with Heat Wave. Alex Frazier and Microcopter goes with Bumblebee. And then finally, we have Walker Cleveland and Rescue Saw. That's gonna be a fun one. And that goes with Boulder. And we have all of these rescue bots. I've shown them in other videos. So Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, we'll get these big guys out once we've opened all of these packages. So let's open them up and check them out. The new rescue bots toys are unboxed and ready to go. And as you can see, I put each of the transformers behind each of the new toys they go with. First, let's start with Boulder. This is an interesting machine. I believe it can dig trenches. If you push this button on the side, it spins these blades super fast. And then you can put this character, who's got some cool movements. He can rotate his hands around. You can turn his head and move his legs. So he's got good movements. And then he has these holes on the bottom. So you can put him right on that peg. He'll stay put, be a little squeaky. And then you can take his hands and he can hold on to the steering like this. And then he can drive along and drive this wherever he needs to get to work. So that's a really fun thing, but also you can take him and put him into Boulder's hand. So if we remove this guy and his hands, yeah, you can sit right there. Each of these has a peg that the rescue bots can hold on to. And when you pull that out, it releases something so you can stretch this all the way out or we can pull it up like this. So if we stretch it all the way out, we can put it in Boulder's hand like this. Try again, there we go. But it's too long, so that's nice that we can turn it like this. And he's got a huge new weapon he can fight with. And then we can push the button on the side and he's ready to go to battle. All right, let's check out Bumblebee next. Bumblebee's character has this thing called a microcopter. It doesn't have any wheels on it because it's supposed to fly. It has this propeller on top, which is fun. And then I guess he just stands up when he flies this contraption. So he's got a microphone so he can talk to whoever he needs to communicate with on the ground. So let's put his feet in that hole. There we go. And the blade won't hit his head. That's always a good thing. And then check this out. We've seen other Rescue Bots toys with that, although this one's a little noisier. Listen to this. Let's try pulling this green guy over here. And yeah, that's good enough. Let's see if this pulls him. <laughs> yeah, it's strong enough to pull this little green guy, so that's fun. So he can also grab onto the controls. I like how they all can actually grab onto the controls. A little bit more fun for make-believe play and he can fly around and check things out from the sky. All right, if we take him off, let's see how, get him to sit down, thank you. And Bumblebee, let's see what you can do with this. So again, this one has that little thing on the bottom, so let's see if we can get that out. There it goes. And then we can tilt this blade up. And then, I think it's less of a weapon and more like a tool for Bumblebee to hold. I don't know what kind of tool. This can spin around on the front, and we can still pull this out. So who knows what Bumblebee can do with it, but at least it can transform and be a fun extra tool for Bumblebee to hold. All right, who's up next? I think it's Heat Wave. Next up, we have Fireman Cody Burns, who is actually the son of Chief Burns here. So he has this cool portable fire hose and some great boots. Look at those treads on there. So we're gonna place him right onto this contraption and he's going to grab the handles and his boot's gonna to wanna to come off. So he's gonna hold on tight and this wire doesn't shoot out, but it does spin. So if you push this little lever, looks like water spraying out, put out the fires and check out this cool three wheeled machine. 
with cool treads on it too so he can drive around and help out Heatwave when needed. But now Heatwave needs to use this to fight his own fire. So sit down right there and we will take Heatwave. So let's put this down like this and that part comes out when you do that. That's pretty cool. And stick this, unfortunately it has to go down here because you can't really, there's no hole for it up here. And then I guess this is how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Looks kind of puny on Heatwave here, but at least he's putting out a fire like he's supposed to. All right, who's up next? Oh, Optimus Prime. Next up, we have Chief Charlie Burns. He leads the police force and works really close with the rescue bots. He has this cool contraption, which is kind of like a pincher, and I think it can cut things as well. But it can grab the chief or anything else and carry him around heavy objects cut through trees maybe it has some fun wheels on the bottom and treads put it on here he can grab hold of the controls and we'll take his foot come on get his foot there we go he's got his son carrying him around oh no all right we'll put him away have him sit down right there and you cody can sit and optimus prime will use this as a tool or a weapon, so we need to get this part out. How do we do that? Okay, we can extend it all the way, and that pulls that peg out. It can go in Optimus Prime's hand. Do they want it like this? Probably. Just like Heatwave. And then that is a huge pincher weapon. Whoa, Optimus, stand up. There we go. Grab and pinch. Can we bring it up like this? Will it still work? Yeah, it'll still work. So you can move them around. I love that these are toys with fun little characters to control them, but they can also be weapons or tools for these big rescue bots. Last but not least, we have this guy named Sawyer Storm and Rescue Winch, which is very similar to Bumblebees, but it can't fly. So it's gonna stay on the ground and help pull things out, pull things to safety. So let's put him on here, have him grab hold. He can drive this one-handed, right? I'm sure he can. And then he can roll around. Let's see, pull this out. Who's he gonna rescue? Let's go with Cody. So strap in Cody around his chest. Pull him to safety. Here we go, Cody, pulling you in. All right, Cody, don't worry, you're safe. Let's go. Just kidding. We need to take these guys off and see how Blades can use this tool. So unhook Cody Burns, pull the winch in. And then if we go like this, you can see it makes that peg pop out. Blades come over here and we will put it in your hand like this. And then Blades can use it when he's flying around in the sky. So technically with Blades, he can fly around and use the winch just like Bumblebee's guy. I really like checking out these Rescue Bots toys. I like how each figurine went along with one of the Rescue Bots, and then you could use their vehicle or machine as kind of a weapon or tool, and they each had a fun little gimmick to go along with them. Hey, I hope you enjoyed checking out the video today. As usual, be sure to tune back in every week for more fun Transformers toys videos.